Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 13th of 2025 is titled Gaia Reconstructs a Top View of Our Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, if you saw our video for yesterday, we looked at Gaia reconstruction of a side view of our galaxy. Now we're going to look at that again from the top. So we're getting a complete picture, giving us a chance to look at our galaxy without the need to travel tens of thousands of light years up above the plane of our galaxy and look back down on it. And that is something that is just technologically impossible for us at this point. There is no way to travel those great distances to really be able to see what our galaxy looks like. However, Gaia's mission to measure the parallax of as many stars as possible, giving us those distances and therefore allowing us to reconstruct a three-dimensional image of our galaxy. As I said, yesterday we saw the side view. Today we're looking down from the top and you can see some of the things labeled there, some of the portions of it labeled. Here we can clearly see the central bar. So our galaxy is what is known as a barred spiral galaxy which is actually relatively common. Many of the spiral galaxies contain a bar going through the center and then the spiral arms coming off the end of the bar. The reason for that is not known. Why some galaxies have this bar and some don't is a great question. But here we actually see that and we can start to see some of the different arms of our spiral galaxy as they are spread around, uh, including our own Orion arm where the sun happens to be. And then several other inner arms. We have the three kiloparsec arm in close to the galaxy center and then several others. And you notice the names are noted by which constellations they tend to be associated with. So certainly Centaurus and visible in the southern part of the sky. And we can see the Perseus arm on the northern part of the sky on the other side, kind of giving us a perspective there. And that's what Gaia has been measuring and did lots of measurements on was getting those distances and determining those distances out to other stars and allowing us to get most of this new data that we needed to really be able to see our galaxy. And it's really the first time we've been able to do that. We couldn't get accurate images of our galaxy from inside. How do you image something when you're stuck inside it? And that's a really good question. So being able to hear, be, see here, because our galaxy is mostly empty space, we can see those stars, we can measure their distances now with Gaia, and that allowed us to reconstruct three-dimensional images such as this one. Now, we do see a lot of spiral arms there, so there are many spiral arms in our galaxy, and we see variations of this in other galaxies. Some galaxies look like ours. Other galaxies might just have two prominent spiral arms going off from the bar. There are different classifications of spiral galaxies as well. We noted last time that our galaxy is very thin. It's a thin disk, and that is where most of the material and stars are located. So the disk there contains the dust, contains the hot blue stars and young star clusters that have formed, as well as the emission nebulae that are present there. So we will be continuing to study the data provided by Gaia over the coming decades. And in fact, Gaia has finished its mission and in March was finally deactivated, but left us a lot of data to study for the foreseeable future. So that was our picture of the day for May 13th of 2025. It was titled Gaia Reconstructs a Top View of Our Galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Big Space Egg. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.